Okay guys, uh, before we get into it today, just wanted to go over um, our testing week. All right, so today after our deload week last week, um, hopefully we've experienced some level of super compensation, we're ready to go, and we can uh, we can fire up those one rep maxes and those max reps in our, in our gymnastics. We have those planned throughout the week. Um, just if you're introducing the barbell for the first time within the last month, and just getting onto the programming, like if you just got into, got your hands on a barbell or, or at that opportunity, uh, I would um, do still do the at-home versions just for this week. You can still do them with a barbell, uh, but but I would do a drastically reduced uh, percentage and I would not do the maxes um, just because uh, of obvious reasons of not being prepared to do it. Uh, one rep maxes are, are, they take their toll and we need to plan our route to the one rep max accordingly. Now, if you've been training hard this whole time, following the program, hit it hard, let's uh, let's see those PRs, all right? So today is the one rep max back squat, but if you don't have the necessary loading or the equipment, we can grab whatever we were using for our loading, our object, our dumbbells, whatever. We're gonna do any type of loaded squat, front squat, back squat, whatever you need to do. And we're gonna do a five second down tempo. Nice and controlled, staying tall, spreading the floor apart, and making sure we're very explosive and fast to kind of promote the same uh, power that we get from the one rep max, all right? On the way up, we want to drive through the resistance. We don't want, we don't just lift the bar up, we drive through the bar uh, in order to get that nice, good stretch reflex and that, uh, and that work on the power on the concentric phase of the movement. Then we're supersetting. Um, muscular development with uh, this isodynamic, uh, isometric hold in the bottom of a Bulgarian split squat, 20 seconds on the one leg, and then we stand and switch after 20 seconds, 20 seconds on the other leg, making sure that we're concentrating on vertical lines. So when we get into position, shins vertical, torsos as vertical as possible. Uh, you might have some forward lean in the torso, and that's okay, just as long as we're very compressed and tight. Uh, experiencing core tension, all right? So that's your superset every two minutes, times six, have at her. Okay guys, uh, Metcon today, it's a spicy one. Um, it's gonna be a certain way originally, and then it's gonna get a lot different as you progress, uh, specifically on the thruster. Um, we are starting with 50 fixed double unders, um, use what you got. If you don't have a rope, you can jump over a line, do your thing on that. Um, once you're done there, we're going to go eight total bar. This is a relatively low rep total bar, depending on how many rounds you progress. But at a time, eight at a time, low rep, we're gonna do a speedier version of the total bar, which is just that nice bent knee flick. I'm not so concerned about staying long and strong here. Just trying to get the cycle time up by bending and flicking and coming back down. You can see that looks a lot different than if we had a lot of reps here. Uh, we're, we're trying to increase the cycle time. If eight is a lot for you though, you're gonna wanna go back to that long, strong beat swing where we're trying to keep our legs straight throughout the movement, all right? Now the thruster. So, um, just to explain this, this goes up incrementally as you can see in the workout. Now, when the thruster goes up, all right? Or sorry, when the thruster reps are one, two, three, we can bust right through them and it's gonna feel like a lot of double unders and, and a pretty fair amount of toes to bar. But this is drastically gonna slow you down. We're gonna have to be very efficient here. And it is a heavier thruster. So um, we really wanna pay attention to our rep tempo on this um, and we wanna control the bar because this isn't a light thruster, it's not a wall ball. We wanna make sure that we control the way down. All right, so what I mean is that eccentrics, if we get pile drive into the floor by the weight, we're gonna make it heavier on the way up. So what I'm doing here is she's accepting with her legs and slowing and decelerating the bar uh, so that she can drive back up against a weight that's not coming, crashing down on her shoulders. And that works for um, if you've got um, a heavy object that you're using today, heavy dumbbells. If you don't have the luxury of like having some type of weight that's fairly heavy um, to use in the thruster, um, then, then just increase the reps. It's gonna change the stimulus a bit, 
but increase your reps um, with the object that you do have and make that judgment call, all right? So have fun with this one, guys. Remember, the focus is going to be the thruster, but it's not gonna feel like it at first. Um, so, so keep it in mind.